Hello graduates. Today we are talking about five miracles for fresh graduates in a job interview. My name is Musa Kisoma, a proficient public relations specialist. I'm here to help you with the very important and amazing tips that will help you to score high in your job interview. In my video series on how to pass your job interview, today I have decided that I'll be talking about the five miracles for fresh graduates in a job interview. Are you a fresh graduate from college, from the university? Don't worry, there is nothing impossible. Miracle number one. I will tell you how to respond to the question, introduce yourself or tell us about yourself. Here is the important tip you have to know. This is the first and common but a very tricky question that you'll find it in every job interview worldwide. The interviewer does not need your education background. Remember this, they do not need your personal life story. So don't tell about your likes, don't tell about your parents, your good sisters and brothers, or you are so and so. But what they need is about your professional work history. But as a new candidate in the industry, you are fresh from college, you have no competitive experience. Therefore, you must be honest, but show them that you are very enthusiastic and ambitious for the job. From the beginning, make sure that you show them that you have, you have positive attitude. Uh, tell them about yourself in a positive manner and show your passion for the job. You can refer your little experience you have acquired during your college field study or during your internship and persuade them that you are a very fast learner, you will work hard, you will be a very good listener and so that they will know that you can reach their goal. Now here is the model answer for fresh graduates for fresh college candidates. Here we go. Thank you very much for inviting me to this interview. My name is Musa XXX. I am a graduate from CTT University and I should admit that I have no competitive experience in this area, in this industry, in this sector of rural development and planning. But it is my lifetime dream to work in development project. That is why I took rural development course as my main area of focus. Therefore, I'll be glad to join your wonderful team and be part of people who will bring positive change to the society. Despite lacking enough experience in this field, I have a good knowledge on this field and I have scored high in my exams as you have seen in my transcripts. But also I did very well during my two times of field study when I was at the university. Therefore, I have basic practical knowledge of planning, data collection, and data analysis, and reporting, uh, report writing and presentation, which makes me believe that I can handle the roles of this job. I am a very fast learner and a hard working person. That means if you give me a task, I will learn it quickly and do it as it is required. I believe if you hire me within very short period of time, I'll master all of my responsibilities. I am a kind of person who is very self-motivated, positive in mind. That makes me believe that if you give me a task, I'll do it effectively with very minimum supervision. I'll be very attentive to details, I'll work faithful with others, and whenever there is a task, a task to do, I'll be always the first one to volunteer. Thank you. Miracle number two. How to answer the question, can you tell us about your small experience? Here is the model answer. Remember, I told you, you don't have much experience, so there is a way you have to convince the panelists that you are the right candidate. Here we go. Yes, thank you. I know I don't have much experience in this field because I am fresh from college. 
but I will share with you my small experience. For three years during my university studies, I have learned important communication skills. I have learned about team working skills. I have learned about problem solving skills and also uh, computer skills like Microsoft Word, Excel, Publisher, SPSS, PowerPoint, Internet, and so on. Within those years, I attended two terms of field study where I did uh, data collection. I, learned, I participated in organizing, doing public events, uh, report writing, and you can mention other things that you have done in your field study. And during my study, I also was able to, to meet the deadline uh, to, to complete my works, and my supervisor were so proud of me. Also, during my study, because I love working, I volunteered in my university media as a radio presenter, a columnist, a news reporter, editor, especially during weekend and in the evening time. Uh, this is uh, especially for those who are studying journalism, mass communication. If you have ever volunteered, it is your time to tell the panelists that you at least have a small experience of volunteering. Uh, you keep saying, I am proud of those few projects I have volunteered because my supervisor appreciated my performance and they have equipped me ready for the work, though I know I have to learn more. I have also learned to work with different kinds of people, and therefore, it makes me a good team work player. Miracle number three. How to respond to the question, why did you choose this career? Here's the important tip. This question is intended to measure your passion and your understanding for the role. Show a positive response towards your profession. Don't say like, you know, I had this, uh, that this field pays a lot. Oh, I just followed my friends so that you can study the same course because, oh, maybe I did not have other choices. I decided to, do, to, to opt for this course. No, just to show them that you have read their job description and you know what kind of a person they are looking for. So you, here is how you will answer. Thank you. First of all, I know that this industry deals with one, two, three, and four. It's your time now to read their job description in your head. You know what they are looking for. Therefore, I chose this career because I want to do one, two, three, four. If I get the opportunity to work with the organization, I'll be able to do one, two, three, four. Now, it's your time to tell them how you'll be uh, you'll be an asset to the organization. You know what they are looking for. You know the responsibilities that have been described in your job description. It is a time now to show them that uh, you will do them. Repeating those uh, important job description or job laws shows that you know what they are looking for and you are confident that you will fit in uh, that role. So you just tell them that you will be an asset for their organization and eventually you convince them that you will produce big results or you will bring about a wonderful achievement. Miracle number four. Start the chapter which I have talked about 12 secrets to unlock and become successful in the job interview. That chapter is in this book called Prepare to Pass for Your Job Interview. But also I have given you uh, a good video uh, talking about the 12 secrets that will help you to unlock and pass the job interview. Listen to it and be equipped in those 12 uh, important tips. Miracle number five, be confident. How? Just read that chapter. I've talked about 10 things that will increase your confidence in a job interview. Give a special attention and focus on, on the 25 uh, common ask questions that I have given you in the book and in my videos. Thank you for watching. I wish all the best in your coming interview. If this video has become very nice and helpful, subscribe, click a like button, and put your comment.